All right, we're in the school finally, and we get some new classmates for the most part. Everyone is pretty chill. Everyone, all these so-called delinquents, they're not really delinquents. They're called Bofurin, and we're supposed to protect the community, protect each other, love another. You know, these goals, these, these, these little, like, foundations, whatever principles we have seems very good, right? But that guy at the very end... Bro's looking like Discount Rewind. Some people are gonna get so fucking messed. Like, that's not Discount Rewind! He's his own character! Okay, just a classroom of the Elite Ming. I'm sure he's a pretty good character. He starts to just start some shit out of nowhere. And there's also that Chuni DiCaprio guy. So clearly, there's some crazy people amongst the group that are probably the most important characters. Let's see what they're about today's episode. Is this opening? Versus the Rising Dragon? Sugishita is in. Wait, wait, visiting since middle school? So, bro has been just coming to this high school since middle school trying to pick fight just so he can be the top. Warship. So, like, he's like a cult member. He's like Diablo, saying like, Waga Kimi, to whoever the leader of the Bofurin is right now. Okay, this bro is a fucking zealot. Oh! Yeah, you do it, bitch. Oh! I thought he kicked him in the dick there. That totally could have been a kick to the dick. Holy shit, nah, that's just like a... I think that hit him in the chin. Yo, Chuni DiCaprio was pretty happy about that. Sakura-san! <laughs> 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 Wait, this is Gojo Satoru's voice. Also, Red Keeper, right? So I'm gonna assume if this if it's this guy's voice actor, he's probably the captain of Bofurin, the top, maybe? That's like doing all plant shit in the opening. <laughs> yeah, if it's Gojo voice actor, it's gonna be some super OP cocky character. Who is this? They know it's the top. Mad Dog is listening because it is the top of Bofurin, yes. There is him. Dude, every character this voice actor does is just like... Casual, aloof, nonchalant dude, but then super OP when it needs to be, you know? I swear to God, it's every fucking character! Have fun. Enjoy your youth. Okay. Yes, yes. Alright, maybe we could go to a beach then. I mean... I don't really want a beach episode with a bunch of dudes, because, you know, the hot spring and the beach episode, it's only good because of the waifus. But there's not really any waifus in this shoe other than that one girl at the fucking, you know, the omurice place. You <laughs> dare <laughs> talk shit <laughs> about our lord? <laughs> like what? Well, we kind of we kind of did, but we're exceptional. We've surpassed their uh, expectations. <laughs> Thank you for the speech. Wait, 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 Mike is still on. Mike is still on, boss. But everyone listens. Everyone listens to him. <laughs> he probably thinks like making amends and shaking hands is like too much for him. He's gonna start blushing. He would get disappointed. He just simps over Hajime a lot. 
本当に Are they gonna do some like, you know, some macho alpha male shit where they try to fucking shake each other's hand but like grip it really strong to see who's gonna like give in first? Oh, oh, no sensors, no blurs? Listen, I told you. I, I fucking told you. Y'all, y'all, y'all think that, that that swimming anime free is the only yaoi bait? No, bro. Delinquent anime is also yaoi bait. It, it, it's not even a hot take, bro. You just need to open your third eye, bro. All delinquent enemies. Yeah, they're, they're not. They're not. But it's just like, it's a fucking sausage fest, right? Look at all the fan arts. They're friends. They're friends. They're friends. Shy blush incoming. Friends. Oh, wow. People that's going to accept you. Oh, he's actually fun. Okay, our, our, our boy. Oh, hey, 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 what's up? He really rolled that R. Yo, who are you? Where are we going? Wait. We're straight up doing community volunteer service. We're Bofurin. We're guardians of Furin. He really likes rolling. I think he has the most de facto, you know, stereotypical delinquent look, right? He needs the pompadour and he needs to be squatting outside with like a flag on his back with like a Japanese motorcycle and a wooden sword on his back, too. Bro is very punctual. Okay. Bro skipped milliseconds and went to centiseconds. Centi is, I'm gonna assume, even more precise than milli. The one that broke the bat with his bare hands? Oh, my bad, my bad. Centi is before milli. My bad. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Because centi, it's like a century. It's like basically like a century. And then there's like a, like a millennium, right? Century is obviously. 100? Yes, 100. I, I, I think. And a millennium is. 1,000. <laughs> I was going to say 1 million for a second, but it's 1,000. Okay. Senti is 1, 100. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Kotoa-chan? Who was Kotoa-chan again? Is because Kotoa-chan the girl at the bar? And if he finds out. And remember in first episode, they said they better not let him find out. So Gojo Satoru's voice actor <laughs> is, is, is the, the top of Bofurin. Hajime Ume something. He and her. Well, I would think it's, a, it's probably sister, siblings. I don't think it would be like a relationship. Because like, I'm trying to think of like a shit for Sakura. I don't know. It's probably siblings. Maybe relationship, childless friends. Who knows? <laughs> or else what? Oh, oh, oh. What? Gaskun, 10 for upset st <laughs> Wait, this is a fucking laxative, right? Upset stomach, it said. I guess he... No, 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 no. I'm not sure if it... It might not be laxatives, but more like, um, Tums. It, yeah, I, I think this is like Tums, bro. It's like, um... Your stomach is so acidic and it hurts, so you take like these tums that kind of adds that you like neutralize the pH in your stomach and stuff like that because he's so anxious. Ridiculous leader. He's been getting hyped up. <laughs> True. True. Okay, so we have a ranking system. So within Bofurin, there is the king. Sorry, there is the top of Bofurin, which is Hajime. But beneath that, there is the four kings of the school. I do enjoy it whenever an anime has like different structures of like hierarchy. Kind of hypes up, right? It's like, oh, who could the other three be, right? Is that a girl? Who's that besides Mr. Heart Pill guy? Heartburn. It could be like a fanboy type with long hair, but... And then there's a gas mask guy. The fuck? This dude has a gas mask? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. In the opening, 
or the ending, I swear to God, there was a girl that was like one of the tallest girls, right? Th th there's a super tall girl who was like taller than the other dude. So I think that might be it. Okay. All three grades are like the captains of them. Four heavenly kings. Cool, cool. We're Tamons, guys. Yo, look at those kicks. Yo, look at those kicks. Look at them red fucking Jordans. Community service to do painting. We're, we're painting the graffiti, right? Has he actually still not said anything yet? Sugishita still hasn't said a single word yet. <laughs> Wait, that was so quick. <laughs> that was so quick. Look at these two. <laughs> Look at Ryu and the little kid shirts, bro. Hmm. Rating versus protection. We're peacekeeping, guys. That's right. We don't start shit. We simply respond. It's crazy how this guy is the level-headed one right now. You're the dull one if fighting is the only fun you have. Like knowing, I don't know, you just look at him. He seems like to be like a like a battle freak, but everyone here, they're so level-headed. And it's all thanks to Hajime Umemiya's thinking, right? His philosophy. Oh god, Granny! Granny, careful! <laughs> Oh, we got Taiyaki. These are great. Tonpu Taiyaki. Wait, Shuni DiCaprio gave us away there? The fuck? Why did, why, why did Bro give away his Taiyaki? Hajime? Yeah, isn't it nice, Sakura? You know, other people are like depending on you and saying nice things. Fight? Fight? We're gonna get a fight? Ooh. Inu? What is that? Whose mark is it? Is it some gang? We're at the border. Is that a tiger? Shishitoren. They sound like they like to fight. Devotees of power. Let's go! Who is that? I like you. Listen, I don't know, man. I there. I don't know about the color scheme, but that this tiger mark on the back. This is pretty sick. I do like this. Sakura save. The two idiots went in. You we're protecting them, right? He finally spoke! He finally spoke, bro! Then they struck first. First line from this dude right here. We're fighting. We're protecting. Wait, wait. Isn't this actually Rewin's voice actor? Wait, wait, listen. There's no way this is actually Ryuan's voice actor from Classroom DLE, right? It just sounds similar, right? Manabe. Ayano Koji! Is that... Is that it? Well, they're devotees of power, so if they're weak, I guess they don't care. Oh, he's a big boy. What, what is he? What is he? Second in command! Anos? Anos? Nanda Koitsu. Hiragi Hiragi probably can't keep up. We seem pretty chill, right? What's in his hand? I feel a cliffhanger coming, though. 
Yo, what was the middle school kid doing though? We might be in the wrong here. <laughs> you just bottled him in the head? That's your old man! <laughs> Dude, our side is like, you know, you gotta protect each other. Make sure to paint the graffiti, be nice and wholesome. And this side's like, fuck these idiots. Oh, our own fell down? Fucking hit him with a fucking bottle on the head. Alright, alright. The Shishitoshi's pretty fun, right? Is bro dead? Oh, it's not even over? It's not over? Yo, what the fuck is this guy doing over here? This bro has been doing this the entire time. Going like, oh my god. So their philosophy is devotees of power. If you lost, you have nothing that you can talk about. You dare say that it's our turf? You're disrespecting us due to our philosophy is the idea. That guy's getting horny. Is he really saying I wish boss hit me too? Maybe? <laughs> I don't think they care about Nakama like that. <laughs> this weakling? Here's the thing. He's talking all this shit, but what happens when this guy loses, right? Because, like, the classic thing of, you know, the villain, they start going on a monologue about how it's like, oh, the strongest, you know, can say and do everything. It is the survival of the fittest because you are weaker than me. I can do everything. And then they fucking immediately lose to fucking the main character. Usually this happens in MASH, right? So when Joe loses, but he's not the main character. Ah, we'll see. I love the tiger imprints. Oh shit, we talking shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. Fucking Sakura, man. I like to think that he just had some respect for Sakura right over here. Right? He already probably does because Sakura is the only other person that said something about getting to the top. Actually, I don't know if he wants to get to the top because he said that he like worships the top of Bofurin like it's some kind of god. But to a certain degree, I'm sure he does respect him now. Orange hair sidekick is useless. Is he gonna get better? Is he just gonna be like, like you can't have an entire party of like Giga Chads. So like this guy exists to like kind of be scared all the fucking time. He's like the straight man, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Why is bro so zesty on the left? Is it just me? Or is bro the zestiest delinquent I've ever seen? Korosu, korosu. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 haircut cool. You talk way too slow. Here we go, here we go. Fight. 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 Don't give me a cliffhanger. Come on, fight. Pussy. Coward running away. Pussy. He's wearing double jacket now. He took his fucking jacket. Bro actually took one of his new jacket. He's fucking wearing it. So I guess this is setting up for the future when Joe and Sakura will fight. And in this season, he needs a second in command of Shishi to whatever their school is. So... We'll see. I think that's the ending. I'm not sure. Oh, it's taking so many heart for medicine. The Hiraki, you might actually get a heart attack by taking those. Fudge though. <laughs> Yeah, Hiraki, you didn't do anything. You let Sakura do it. What are you going to do? How, he can't go back to his school anymore. Is he just like going to switch class? Is he going to join our school now? What is he going to do? He lost his fucking orange jacket. Yeah, Alright, we're finally going to meet Hajime. Oh wait, was that the other guy? You're right, you're right, you're right. I think I'm getting mixed up. There was two people, right? This guy is actually from a middle school. You're right, you're right. This guy is actually from a middle school. I was talking about the guy that got bottled in the head. Wait! Wait, wait, wait! What, 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 what happened? Joe took his fucking jacket. He's on the ground! So, like... 
<laughs> Maybe he's just fucking dead. I thought that was the guy we're taking back. No, we're taking a middle school kid back. Joe took his jacket. Joe double jacketed it up. We just leave him? Bro, just dead? He's just done? <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny. He's still passed out underneath the bridge right now. Hajime, Umemiya. Doesn't he like doing some gardening stuff? We saw in the opening, right? Umemiya, Hajime. And he's like a pacifist, it seems like, right? But that's the thing, right? They're baiting us with this guy being so chill and casual. But when he gets serious, that's where the gap moe happens. And that's why it'll be even more epic when you contrast this chill casual side. And, and that's the episode. Today's episode was the continuation of the fight. I got to remember this guy's name. I still forgot it. I'll stop calling it Discount Ruin. But the fight was pretty cool. Sakura is actually so good at fighting. I haven't really seen him lose yet. Even the kick that he had in this flexible position, pretty goaded. Now, uh, the rest of the schoolmates, it's pretty... We don't really... We're trying to figure out like how the system works. So it's like you have the top, then you have like the four heavenly kings. And each king seems to have in each class from first, second, and third year and there's like these like factions right and we're going out and doing random like volunteer work community work service like you know graffiti stuff but does like this is like the early game i'm sure we're not gonna just like spend the entire season just like rescuing cats and like you know delivering newspapers and painting graffiti right we gotta fight right and we already get hints of our first enemy rival faction who is like the shishi something and they got the tiger stuff and their entire thing is devotees of power pretty much completely opposite of us where we we're just focused on being the guardians of Furin. they're like in the pursuit of power and even if their own dude is weak they'll just straight up take their jacket and leave him for dead that guy is still underneath the fucking bridge after getting bottled in the fucking head joe seems pretty intimidating I wonder how strong he really is because we haven't seen Sakura go all out just yet. But I think this could be a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, stress test whenever this fight might happen. I hope this happens in season one. If it happens in the future seasons, then we got fucking baited. And at the end, Hajime Umemiya seems like this classic cliche of a super strong guy who's like a pacifist, who seems very nonchalant, casual, chill. So that you as the audience will be kind of like conditioned to think that he's he might be weak he might be just a pacifist but when someone gets hurt namely that girl in the omurai's bar who knows if it's a sibling or a past lover or something that shit when that happens oh i cannot wait to see him actually get serious but that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care